Alright guys, my name is Frank and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Aston Martin Vantage GT12 in Forza Horizon 3. I've been waiting to drive this car in a Forza game for a very, very long time because it's been in Project Cars in a couple of other games, but <laughs> I've just been dying it. Been dying for it to come into an actual Forza game, and it finally, finally has. So we're at this very, very cool looking sort of villa area, and it's a cool little car meet spot. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys hang around this place online yet, but it's a really, really cool little area. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump in the Aston Martin right now. Head up along the coast road. We've not been down there for a wee bit, and see what it's like basically so let's get going now first thing we need to do a little bit of a u-turn because this bit is a bit tight do i need to say anything more after this because the noise is one of the biggest parts just like the falcon i drove the other day this the, the, the noise is just dominant <laughs> you cannot beat an Aston V12, man. Oh, it's so good. It just feels alive, this car, and that is possibly the best thing I like about it. As I was saying in the Falcon video, I like cars that make you feel happy and... They make you feel involved with the driving experience, and this thing does in spades. Now, thanks to the wing and the added aerodynamics, it's a lot more grippier and a lot more planted than the normal V12 Vantage S. And that thing is pretty damn good in terms of getting planted and grip anyway. Does like to slide a lot though, the V12 Vantage S when you want it to, but with this thing, you can get it sliding, but for some reason, I don't really want to slide this. It's strange, you know me, I'm like, oh, let's get everything sideways, but in this, I'm like, no, I just want to drive the thing, and that is a good difference. It's, it's a difference from time to time, and I like it. Oh, yes, I mean, I can't believe that Aston Martin actually made this thing. It's basically a road-going version of the race car. It's freaking insane, man. It's like a little mini Vulcan. That's the way I look at it. It's like a little mini Vulcan, because the Vulcan obviously has got like massive wings and big blooming intakes and front bumper splitter thingies, if you know what I mean? So it's a lot more aerodynamic car than this, but I do feel as if Aston Martin took some inspiration from the Vulcan for this car. I mean, look at this, we're just cruising along in six gear at 140 miles an hour. It's not a hard car to drive. It's actually really soothing to drive. I mean, if the, if the noise was amplified down a little bit, then it would be a perfect cruising car, but... <laughs> If you want to mash the throttle, the noise can just keep going for however long you want, man. Come on, give me a crackle. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Could have been a little bit of a bigger crackle, but apart from that... Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> it's like bum 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 bum. It's like proper British beef, man, because this thing pumps out 593 horsepower and 461 horsepower from a 5.9 litre V12. Around about 0 to 60 time of 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 181 miles an hour. So it's no slouch, but it's kind of strange. This thing is actually slower than the V12 Vantage S. Thank you, Volvo. Thank you very much. I just stopped to let you go by. What a dickhead. Anyway, apart from rude Volvos, we're heading up to the rainforest, and I have a feeling this is where this thing is going to come into its own. Tight and twisty roads. I mean, look at that. I went in there too quickly, right? I went in there way too quickly, and it just managed it. I've not been up this road yet, have I? Oh, I think it sounds even better from in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you like to be like a serious racer, guys, and 
Not really a Hoonigan. I'd recommend picking one of these up, man. It's really good. Let's just see if you're a fail race sort of guy. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> if you're a fail race sort of guy which likes to take everything a little bit more seriously, then yeah, definitely check this car out. These roads though. I mean, the Rainforest roads have to be some of my favourite driving roads in this game. They're just so beautiful. Even though this is on Xbox One, not the Xbox One S, it is freaking dazzling. You can only imagine what it's going to be like on the PC, man. I've seen some gameplay footage in that, but if you've got it on PC, guys, then let us know in the comment section below. Because my PC isn't the greatest in terms of specs. It can only just run games, but yeah, I'll be thinking about upgrading mine uh, in like a year or so, maybe a wee bit less than that, but right now I've got a lot more things going on that rather than going up, rather than upgrading a PC. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, oh man. It's, it's, uh, I'm kind of lost for words with this car, man. Seriously, it's not a disappointment. In Project Cars, obviously you know how hard that was to drive cars in that game with a controller. Uh, I don't know what it was like with a steering wheel, I think it was roughly the same. It was quite hard to drive, because cars would bounce all over the place, but I am finally, finally glad that this has found a way into Forza, because it feels at home. Oh, there we go! First sideways action of the day, guys. I didn't even mean to do that. I was in setting gear and the power just came on me there. Right, give me a drive tar. I want to race them in this thing. I want to go racing, boys. I want to be a cowboy, baby. <laughs> Still love that vein, man. I know it's like months old, but some of the older ones are the best. I don't know if you still watch Vine, but Vine and dank memes are fucking brilliant. Seriously. I don't like the new one, as I mentioned before, the bloody Buzz Lightyear thing. What's your name? Buzz Lightyear, the biggest freaking action hero out there. It's just a John Cena ripoff. Don't try and rip off John Cena because it's the bloody best one out there, I think. Well, it used to be. Give me a bloody supercar something to verse, man. I'm choking for a race here. And that isn't normally like me. Because you know me, I like just cruising about. I'm absolutely choking for a race, mate. My proper Scottish side coming out there. Jesus. Keep on heading up this road then. I think that would be a bit unfair racing that little thing. The blooming mini. <laughs> that is a wee bit unfair, but what is this thing up here? That is a Camaro? I think I can easily cream him though. That looks a bit newer. What is this thing? I can't even see from here. I must be going a bit blind. Cadillac CTS V. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's of an interesting challenge. 640 horsepower on that thing. Give me that, and apparently it's going to be quite easy. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, come on, baby. Come on. Beat the big carry laddie. It's such a precise car as well, man. I'm only just tapping on the analog stick, and it is going into the corners with blooming ease. One pal, I got my way. I've been in there a bit too fast. Oh, Jesus. My heart was in my mouth there a little second. No, Cadillac. No, no, Sonny Boy. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was close. That was very close. But I'm actually glad we went down this road because it's a very, very good drifting section that we just passed there. I'll take you on it right now. We'll just circle back around. I came across this a couple of weeks ago, guys. Well, not a couple of weeks ago, but you know what I mean. You jealous, mate? You fucking jealous that I won? Ya bastard. <laughs> We're in driver tours, man, I don't know. I do not know. Right, so if we just cut up in here, this is a great, great, great road for drifting. Excuse me, Alex. Move your HSV ass. I mean, look at this, it's like, it's only like one section, right? But it reminds me heavily of Colorado in Horizon 2. Horizon 1, I mean. Bloody idiot. Surprisingly drifts quite well. You need to turn a lot though. 
That's the one thing I noticed. Compared to some other cars, you need to turn the steering wheel quite a lot to get it sideways. With some other ones, you just kick the clutch and that, and you're just sideways. But that is a very good section. I'm going to go around it again, actually. It's better going this way that I'm going to go now. It's the way that I first found it. Interior. Oh god, oh god, Alex. You need quite a bit of momentum in this car, man. I've noticed that, like, the speed is relatively low. <laughs> the speed is relatively low for in, like, third gear. Whoa, okay, then. Holy shit, I didn't expect that. It just randomly spun me out. Right, so there is a limit to this car. Okay, that was, a, <laughs> that was honestly a surprise, guys. It's never done that to me before. Holy crap. But yeah, I, I probably recommend you coming down this road in a wee bit of a better drift car. Because this... Is, it's alright. But as I says, I prefer just driving the thing. Now, does it feel quick? Yeah, obviously, but when you compare it to like the V12 Vantage S, which I've driven before in like Horizon 2, it's, it's just on the same level, but I think the V12 Vantage S just edges it. I know this has got more power, but to be honest, I don't really know. I, I, can, I can only feel a slight difference between the two. Obviously, this one has more grip. Oh, God! Right, okay, on my TV screen, it's quite bright, right? So I did not see that BMW coming. Okay, I might need to turn down the brightness settings on this. It's kind of weird. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, get past Alex. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Aston, come on! He's only in an HSV GTS! Jesus Christ! Oh god, move it away, Cadillac. It's not going to help that it's raining now. We're going to get sideways like a mofo in a minute. We're quite lucky the Outback is mostly straight roads. Don't be a car coming, don't be a car coming, thank you very much. It's just sheer suicidal going on the other side of the road of this game. But I like this, I actually do like this, it's got a, a split personality, I mean if you shove it in 7th and go on a highway it's a good cruiser, and then when you go, you want to go on a B road or a back road, it just dominates it man, freaking dominates it, because in any other car uh, in the game, let's just say, uh, I don't know, something around the same price bracket as this, something in the same class, I'm trying to think, what's it get, 595 horsepower? I would say it's in kind of like the, the super sports class. So you're talking like Jag F type Project 7. I mean, the Project 7's a bit more layer than this, I have to say. You need to kind of you need to kind of watch out when you're driving that thing, because we all know Jags love getting sideways, but with this, no problem at all, man. No problem at all. There's a drift zone here. Come on. Come on, Aston. Oh, Oh. What? Okay, right, this is weird, man. I've never had a car properly go around to me like that, like, at this low speeds. Apart from the Regera, where you know it's going to kick out. That's so weird, man. So you've got to watch yourself when you're drifting in this thing, man. It's a bit, it's a bit... <laughs> she, she can rip your face off, definitely. But overall, I am in love with this thing, man. I really do like it. In terms of, like, as I said, it's grippy and this B-Road barnstorming, it is fantastic. In terms of cruising, it's good. But for drifting, as I said, and as you just seen, watch out. Because she can bite. She can bite, man. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this review of the Aston Martin Vantage GT12, then let me know by leaving a comment and a like as well. Subscribe to the channel for more Forza Horizon 3 content from me and also follow me on all my social media stuff in the comment section below. And also, haven't mentioned this in a while, if you want a 5% discount off of the actual chair that I've got, the GT Omega Racing one, there's a link in the description below and you can go and get it. I'm not forcing you obviously to get it guys. If you're just looking for a new chair then these things are actually pretty good. So, yep, thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you in the next one from me and the Aston Martin. Bye-bye.
I'm just going to listen to that noise for a little bit more. So good.